With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And here we are again, sitting in the sunken place. As a matter of fact, I, I tried to shoot my shot, and she just didn't reciprocate. She didn't like me as much as I thought. And and you know something? I feel pretty damn happy about it. Matter of fact, this is the best thing that's ever happened. And you know something? You're on the right damn program to hear it. Because welcome to the JMS Show here on K360 Radio. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick, so I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, what's going on, J360 Legion? Welcome to the J-Man Show. This is your host, Jay, of course, a.k.a. the J-Man, a.k.a. capital J, a.k.a. the leader of J360 Productions. And you know something? I'm also... Yeah, yeah, well, I pretty much covered it. (laughs) Hey, so, welcome to episode 133, y'all. We're finally making it again. Matter of fact, I want to apologize for the episode being a little late. I was busy with a few things. Those last 15 weeks are starting. The last ride is coming together. Soon enough, I'll be out of that lackluster job, and I'll be doing, hopefully doing this full-time, in addition to, um... Handling some other business ventures of mine. I'm just working on some ways to get some more funnels around here to, you know, just keep that cash influx coming in and doing big things for myself. I mean, we're in the new decade. I mean, and just because things seem to be really, really stupid with other things doesn't mean you shouldn't try to shoot your shot and shouldn't try to have a better life and all those other things. Because I know I deserve better and I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not afraid to, you know, let what I have on the inside out. You know what I'm saying? A long time ago, I used to have a problem. I used to have a lot of anger. I used to have a lot of temperaments. And the thing about it is, is this, right? It was all for a good reason. Usually, most of the time, it's dealing with stupid people that don't get it. And you see, the problem is, we'll never, ever run out of stupid people. But when you know how to manage things and you know how to cut that stuff out and say, you know what? I don't need this in my life. And you can move forward. You're good. You're golden. But the thing is, is just never go back to it. And you see, sometimes when dealing with circumstances like that, because, you know, people in general, if there's one thing that has taken a rise, like I say all the time, technology has taken a rise. Like it has made things a lot easier for us. And it's been an an asset in some ways, but it's been a hindrance in others. Whereas we're rising with the technological booms, we are taking a nosedive when it comes to basic conventions such as human communication and respect for our fellow people you know important things like that because people for some one reason or another don't know how to communicate well and when they don't know how to communicate well things get messy things get stupid and repugnant and to the point where it could be a innocent false pause but see at one time when it was a misunderstanding you could apologize for that misunderstanding you could say you know what i misunderstood you i'm sorry 
let's reassess. And then, you know, you have a deeper conversation there and you get somewhere else with it. But somewhere along the line, it has changed a lot because when certain people nowadays can't handle a fact, but they are so scared of opinions and people are so scared of opinions nowadays, get that rise up, they get that temperament all bent out of whack and stuff. So then they start chiming and different things, call you out of your name, try to insult the things that you built. And everybody makes mistakes, man. Nobody's perfect here. But you want to know the biggest recourse where some of this stuff takes place at? The basic thing. The natural thing. The good old adage of romance. And you see, some people have a hard time finding a romantic partner. Some people have a hard time... Um, trying to get somebody, well, not even trying to get, you know, not even just trying to get somebody, like, even trying to announce that they're looking. And then some people have a hard time admitting they're single. I- I've never seen so much, so much butthurt over the concept of being single. There's nothing wrong with being single. A lot of us were born single, right? There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's all about what you do with it. Now, if you got those older people in your family that say, hey, you know, I'd like to see you have a nice uh, significant other in your life, uh, yada, 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 or they keep chiming in like, you know, it'd be cool to have some grandchildren and stuff like that. That's because they realize that time is running out. And the thing is, they want to be able to see something from you that's a sign of accomplishment in some way. And for some people, when it comes to, you know, increasing the family tree. And you see, the thing is, is this, right? They're not doing the dating for you. (laughs) So it's something that you have to take upon yourself to get done. And as you go about getting it done, everything's a process. And the thing is that you don't know if that person is going to be alive or around by that time. You even stand at an altar or something to hopefully get married. Or get betrayed in so many more ways than others because that's what people do. People are so sad now. And... You see, as I go about these, as I as I tra- travel the world in the seven seas, everybody's looking for something. Wow, that that's really true, though. <laughs> you know, as I look about these things and I see how we fail at certain aspects and social cues and all these other things, like... For some reason, we all expect somebody to figure out what goes on in our heads and stuff like that rather than just, you know, talk. Now, introverts are the most popular thing. Like, everybody's like, oh, I don't know how to react to that. I'm, I'm, I'm so introverted. Um, I, I'm so this. I'm so buried within. It, it, you should go ahead and take time out of your day to really unlock what, 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 what's blocked in me. Okay, for one thing, I'm not a psychologist. I think my brother is, but I'm not a psychologist. And another damn thing is I got so many other stuff going on in my life. I don't care to know. All right. If it's something like this, you're not an anime character. You might want to get over yourself and share what you can share right now. Because when it comes to being introverted, I understand that. But you are absolutely no damn help right now holding that stuff in. Especially if somebody has a passing interest in you. Going to have to get over yourselves a little bit. I don't really care. You know, and and the truth is I've done that to a lot of my friends, male and female alike. I'm like, you know what? I know this is just you, but right now you are really pushing my patience because at the end of the damn day, (laughs) where were you when I needed help? You know, it's like, it's like little things like that. That's probably why I only got three real friends and I can, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? In contrast to a lot of associates I have, and I'm not including the pod, the pod verse in there. Some of y'all have been really awesome. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to level anybody and and put them all in ranks and stuff like that because that's just stupid. But when you get right down to it, though, like um, some people, you know, share what you can share and be honest for a change. Try it. It ain't going to kill you. That is unless, well, I don't know. depends on who you're working for, I guess. It is what it is. But when it comes to like certain conventions on these things and like what I'm saying, when you're pursuing romance and stuff, somebody somewhere is lying And when you find that liar, don't try to be connected to that liar. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to think you can change somebody. If you are that stupid to think that you can change someone, and without their approval on that change, because 
you can't change anybody. Nobody's really perfect for anybody. It's what somebody is willing to offer. And it's about that cohesion and how things grow together. It takes time for this stuff. And like with the elders out there, they're like, you know, I hope that you find that person. I hope that all this stuff happens and things. Just listen to it. They're not saying do it now. They're just saying, you know, push yourself a little bit. Give yourself a little confidence and see now what goes on in social media, mainstream media, anything out here. You see it a lot where people are doubting themselves or they got so many choices. They don't know how to make a decision and all these other ways of doing it. And then you got the one relationship expert that pops out and says, oh, this is what they should do. And this is what yada 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 should do. And this is what and I'm like, and then here I pop up and I look at this stuff and I'm like, you know what? Basic common sense is why don't you just friggin talk? Talk. I mean, most of the time, people say something and they don't communicate. You see what I'm saying? Anybody can talk. But you really need to get on that level. You really need to just, you know, speak, listen, and then try to see if you come together. If you come together, great. If you don't, you don't. And that's just the way it is. But at the end of the day, you got all these dating shows. You got all these people that say, why am I single? All this stuff. And there's a podcast out there called... Uh, why am I single? And I'm not going to diss that podcast, but I'm going to diss all the other stuff around it. And the truth is, is like when it comes to certain circumstances, it can get pretty claustrophobic out there sometimes. And I think we as people who are involved in these situations, we put pressures on ourselves. See, like when I was in my, um, when I was in my teens, I put pressure on myself trying to get to know some of these women and trying to, uh, you know, get out of my shell, all that kind of stuff, they say. And I did. And I started off by really not giving a damn anymore. Like, I always shoot my shot when people least expect it. A lot of other people think, oh, he's going to do it right in front of all of us. Yeah, not going to happen, nosy. I'll do it on my own terms. And in my own style. To which I always have. And it worked, now and again. But I also realize certain people expect certain different aspects and all. And then, like, certain people think, oh, well, you know, you got to do this in order to be with me. No, I don't. No, I don't. The only time I need to got to do something is usually when I'm working on a project or I'm writing something or, you know, basically doing something for my company. One way or another, it's a goal that's supposed to overall help things around in my neck of the woods. And if I am going to help you out, chances are, you know, there's something there. There's there's some benefit and some mutual. But if it's like some sort of stupid uh, aligning the soup cans or some sort of initiation rites, hell no. You're insane at that point because I'm already doing that. Isn't that what dating's supposed to be? Like the the three dates, that 90-day rule, all that stuff. Isn't that what that's supposed to be? It's supposed to be that, hey, guess what? One way or another, I'm not a serial killer at night, you know? And then the beautiful part comes from online dating. Isn't online dating convenient? It's amazing to see how so many people have false pretenses of what they want, including themselves. And then they put it out there and then they think, oh, yeah, the truth won't catch up with me. Yeah, it will catch up with your stinking ass quick. Matter of fact, in the first date, if I'm looking as... If I'm looking as sharp as I need to be, and I see that you pretty much just went ahead and went to, um, let's see, what are some of them places like uh, TJ Maxx or any of them lower tier places where like, hey, if I throw this on, I might look somewhat good, and I'm looking my Sunday best. Oh, hell no, it ain't going to work out. Now, I'm not trying to throw stones at TJ Maxx, but you know, some of that stuff in there, really, really tacky. And the thing is, is that some of y'all think you could just pass on through. Hey, I'm getting a free meal. I ain't got to put no work in. <laughs> you ain't getting no free meal on my whole thing. Matter of fact, I'm getting a free meal because I'm leaving and I'm leaving you with the check. That's how that goes because I, I ain't got time for that. Matter of fact, you can call your own damn Uber at that point. And, and you see, I know that sounds like, you know, I'm picky and stuff like that. But a lot of y'all, y'all run with this stuff too. And I'm looking at a lot of the ladies out there. Yeah, you want to you want to go ahead and throw this pressure on the men, right? Because it's always the men that do stuff wrong, right? Because none of y'all ever do anything wrong. None of y'all ever pick on people. None of y'all ever abuse people, lead people on thinking that, oh, my lies won't catch up with me. Oh, they will in certain other ways. I'm not going to say that they catch up with you then and there, but it's coming for you. And not all men are dumb. You see what I'm saying? 
So why don't we just quit using these stereotypes we see off of TV and any sort of other media outlet around here and just try to treat each other like individuals. And while I'm saying that too, I look over at the men and it's like, hey, not all these women are dim bulbs either. But you see, at the end of the day, sometimes we're too smart for each other. <laughs> we're sometimes, all of us in our genders and our narratives and all that crap, we're so smart and we're so brilliant that we end up screwing ourselves up. You know? And it's time to just really just shut the hell up. Cut out all that ego crap. And just be real. Just try it for a little bit. I mean, hell, it's just one evening. But some people don't even know how to do that right. Put too much on the table, or they just fall everything apart. Oh, you gotta be this, you gotta be that, you gotta be... No, I don't. The only thing I gotta be is me. And truth is, I take care of myself well. I take care of my family pretty well. I know what my priorities are. I know who I am. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that do know who they are. Because if you didn't know who you were and you just keep following trends or you keep listening to mainstream media or you keep going by the way everybody does their own thing, you're not necessarily living for you, per se. You're living for the talk in town. You're living for society. Because society's never wrong, right? Is that why they keep causing nothing but a bunch of headaches? Is that why they keep saying that certain food that was healthy for you in 2019 is now not healthy for you in 2020 because at the end of the day they do every damn thing right is that why at the end of the day like say like if you get mr or mrs right or whoever it is because of gender neutrality and all that nonsense but you know is that is are they going to be there to help you screw too is that that what it is you know like if you're in the heat of passion you finally achieve this stuff are they going to be help you with that huh because at the end of the damn day There's going to be a point where you're going to see your limitations. There's going to be a point where you see what you can do in addition to who your rivals will be after a while and all that other stuff. The best thing you could probably do is really be you. The best thing is to just push yourself forward. Say to hell with everybody else. And then here's the thing, if you know that this person doesn't mean anything and they're not doing nothing for you or they're selfish for themselves or if they just want a certain person that has a lot of money. I know there's a lot of women out there that, you know, work jobs like I do. And the thing is, they trying to look for a rich man so they can live comfortable. I mean, that's their agenda. Let them do that. It's the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. But at the end of the day, if that's what they want, that's what they want. And good luck waiting on that because them kind of people are not going to certain shops that they go to and stuff. I mean, after a while, you'll just realize that you're only hurting yourself because you think that you deserve that lifestyle and you're not sacrificing anything for it. You don't want to work, right? So, of course, you think that shaking that ass is probably going to get you some attention. It'll get you some attention, but don't expect to be respected for your brain after a while. Not until you reach that sagging age, Grandma. And the truth is, uh, when it gets right down to it, what I done dealt with this past, um, God, this well, this past few few days, you know, there was this one lady on, um, one lady on the net, and I was like, hey, maybe I should go ahead and talk. I don't have a problem doing that. So I shoot the shot a little bit. She seemed like a nice girl, but she going through her little problems with her ex and stuff. You know, he took her fur baby away, which, by the way, I'm going to have to have one hell of an argument with some of you guys on this stuff. Because while I like pets, the point is, is like when you guys go on your whole tangent about your pets, some of y'all uh, severely miss the point about certain things. But that's for another episode. And then, you know, I, I sympathize because I was like, all right, well, I know that this person is going through something. No need to try to attach anything right now. But maybe I should go out of my way and help out a little bit. So I did. I gave some advice and, you know, seemed to be pretty well for it at the time. You know, trying to build a friendship here or something. And then she started to relapse back into it instead of growing into her own. And then I was going ahead and giving some more advice, you know, just to help out because that's just what I do. But then, later on, and you know, and I was like, hey, give me a shot sometime. Let's talk it out, you know, get into that, get into that area there. But this is the funny part, right? I'm implying that I like, I'm not implying relationship. See what I'm saying? I'm implying maybe dating. I'm implying maybe, you know, companionship of sorts. 
Not, not, not love. Not at this point. That stuff takes time. This girl right here. Oh, she goes on this tent. She's like, not happening. You're cool and all, but, but I'm not interested. And plus, I, I made my choice about stingy men. And you know what's even funny, right? There was no part of this where I'm being stingy. But then I also found out that she had a... Uh, an only it wasn't an only fans account it was like a paypal app thing and she was also on twitter reading up this thing that said hey get your male followers to go ahead and give you money i saw that stuff and i was like oh my god you see there's nothing that pisses me off worse than somebody out here trying to make a quick buck by banking off of people you know, who probably have low self-esteem. And I don't know why the hell these women keep finding me, because I'm going to tell you this, right? I'm an asshole to a lot of things, and when it comes to certain circumstances like that, I'm going to be like Thanos. So any of you skeezers out here are going to have to watch yourselves. I do not respect it. Now, if you're a content creator, or if you're somebody that has an independent company, and you're building something, and you're legitimately working on some crap... I wouldn't mind kicking you a few dollars. I wouldn't mind investing in you. But if you're somebody that thinks that you just because you got a good set of talents, and if you're a J-Man fan, you know what I mean by talents. If you have a good set of talents and you think that 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 somebody is going to invest in you, especially if it's me, oh, you're in for it. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to invest nothing in you but a verbal smackdown. And you're going to feel every bit of it. It's going to be to the point that if you even spat out a child or scored out something that's around here, they're going to feel it too. It makes no sense to me why somebody like that, who allegedly is going through heartbreak, needs money to feel better about themselves. You're a sad individual when it comes to that. Unless you're out there homeless, hungry, or whatever, there's a difference. And even then, I'm going to be questioning why you got a damn cell phone for an app. But this chick here, right? When I saw that crap, and she tried to say I was stingy because I wouldn't invest in that, I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. And I hit her with some truth. Matter of fact, I'll read it to you from the text I had. I said, totally your call, but a self-respecting man wouldn't give a woman he barely knows money. That's not stingy. An answer to making things worth your while without money is through companionship and deep conversation. But not my problem, however. Then I got rid of her behind. It's not my problem that you can't find the right man. It's not my problem you can't make money. It's not my problem that any of you out here have such a damn low self-esteem about yourself to the point where, guess what, you can't function without trying to piggyback and jump onto other people or ride coattails or think nine times out of ten, hey, guess what, my opinion will override your facts, which it will not, by the way. And by the way, ladies, guess what, you know... I love you, but sometimes you do a lot of things that really just annoy and alienate the hell out of anybody now. You have the freedom of choice. You have the freedom to do a lot of things. Why would you do that? There are better things to do, and there are better people out there. It is not my problem to do it. And not only that, I'm not going to take the slings and arrows of any of these other hardheads that you done played around with. Hell none of that. If you're going to try to nail me to a cross, you best guarantee I'm going to throw your behind up on there. (laughs) I ain't playing. I know that sounds kind of abusive, and I know some of y'all have some abusive things going on in your lives, but there is nothing in the rule book that says that you get the green light to abuse J-Man or anybody else. I mean it. Stuff doesn't make any sense anymore. And you see, that's why a lot of y'all can't find a real man. And I'm saying a real man, not not a not a uh, a nice guy and all that kind of stuff. See, people try to use that nice guy philosophy. And what's really funny is when I hit it with those facts and pretty much I ain't had nothing else to say, the thing is, is this. If I would have cussed that girl out and stuff, she would have had me up there on her little her little page say, Yeah, do, don't talk to this guy. He's an a-hole. He he doesn't have anything good going for him. Um, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blast you out. Just like that one chick I tried to talk to you about Game of Thrones because she got mad because I shortened her name. I call anybody by a short name if it's a long one. But the thing about it is I didn't care to call her by her full name. That's just the way I am. Or I said, huh. And you see, the thing is I'm from the South. Not deep south, but I'm from the south. 
So I'm going to say a hun, you know? You can kind of hear it in my drawl if you listen. Um, and, and, and the truth is, that's just the way I am. And another thing is, we got to start accepting each other for who we are, our draws, and all that kind of stuff. Because here's the thing, right? You see, just because some people have a real Southern accent, and they some people sound like Elmer Fudd, and other people sound like any other cartoon character you can think of, doesn't mean they're stupid. It's just the way they sound. And you're going to be in for a world of hurt if you're going to try to use that as a way to dictate superiority or some sort of some sort of dick measuring that people do nowadays because you're judged a lot by other people you know. You're judged by your peers on the daily. Even more so now with cell phones that have cameras. And some cell phones don't have cameras. Yeah, odd to me too. I mean, a long time ago, it used to be the norm, but nowadays... Is that people can't have freedom of choice for things. And while you do have a choice and it's totally your call, you don't have to necessarily date any or everybody. You don't have to necessarily be with me even, ladies. But the point is, is that guess what? Don't get disingenuous. Don't lie to everybody. Don't go on there and do Slay Queen Slay at the same friggin' time. You over here just annoying and alienating a gender. And not only that, the whole thing about this body positivity stuff I'm not trying to diss the ones that do, but apparently some of these women ain't making any money like they should if they're out here asking their male followers to go ahead and do this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Something is wrong. Something really, really stinks out there. And then I always realize this. See, I have to pull whoever, whoever the queen of J360 Productions is, and there will be one. Whoever that is, I have to pull them out of this society and i'm not saying that there ain't no rational you know smart women out there i'm not saying that there isn't anyone out there for anybody but man if you got to go through a lot of hell just to get that person (laughs) and the thing is it's a lot of the stupid narratives out there like you know now some people will go ahead and they'll throw any sort of any sort of implausible ridiculous statement out there you know, just to try to defer things or try to get other people involved to make this stuff seem like it shouldn't happen. It's not right. Mention taught to women. Okay, and if you're stupid enough to believe that, you're already off the list. You, you got to go. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. You know, and you see, I remember there's there's quite a lot of people who can't handle rejection well. I can because it's part of my job. You know, like say like if I write a script. And it's a good script, but a studio that if I'm not using it through my studio, um, and if I sell it to another studio, they choose to option it, but they never produce it or whatever, or they get somebody to script doctor it or whatever it could be, or even if they try to go that far, you know, a lot of these things happen because there's a lot of hands involved in a lot of executives out there and they'll be like, well, why should we give them any money and stuff like that? Or if they'll be like, oh, well, we're not going to deal with your script. We'll, We'll just give it back. And then, you know, certain circumstances like that, rejection is part of the game. You see? The same thing applies for romantic relationships. If it's like that certain circumstance, if I can't handle that, I'm in the wrong business. And you see, when you're doing something for your own independent production company, and you're working on your own stuff to get where you need to be, you gotta learn how to deal with it. I can't wait till J360 TV starts because then I'll see a whole bunch of people. Mm, that wasn't a good video. Mm, that wasn't the best. I can't stand that video. That, that, that video is messed up. I, I, I'm so angry. I'm going to get mad and, and you're going to take it. <laughs> right. You see, if that was the case, then I don't think the J-Man show would have hit 100 episodes. I don't even think it would have hit 10 episodes if I really listened to that crap. And you see, I stopped listening to that stuff a long time ago. I've dealt with so much crap to get to this point. And I'm going to deal with a lot more with it as I keep going because that's just the way life is. But nobody said I had to stop. And I'm never going to stop. Not until I run out of juice or until I'm dead. Which is the same thing. And you see... I always do what I got to do. Like, whenever my family members are around, they're like, you know, you don't, you don't have a girlfriend at this point. It's like, hey, I'm still looking, and it's not like I haven't tried. But granted, the most times that I'm tired and crap is because when I'm on my solo adventures and I'm out here talking to whomever, that stuff takes work, 
and it takes time. And then it gets to that point where it's like, you know, I'm just going to chill out for a little while. But I never stop. And neither should any of you out here. Because we're getting closer to Valentine's Day. And like I said in many, many episodes, Valentine's Day is not, and I repeat, is not a deadline to be with someone. It's just a holiday. It's a holiday made for those who want to spend money on candy or who want to pursue romance. But a lot of y'all have gone too far in saying Single Awareness Day or my all-time favorite, I'm dating pizza this year, which is stupid. Okay? You got to be honest. It it is really friggin' stupid if you're sitting there thinking and dating a food item. This is the this is where we live at folks. This is this is where we are now. Because we don't take the time to reassess what we do, really think about what we want per se, and just understand that we may not get always what we want, but we can get better if we get out of our own way. And what really constitutes a a great significant other in your lifestyle might be a lot different than mine. Regardless of what the orientation is. But once again, we the people have to get out of our own vices. Really, really have to work on ourselves before we can achieve certain greatness. And like I say, I'm not perfect, never will be. And, you know, even whether I'm whether I'm obese or whether I'm fit or whether I'm swole, I'm still going to be the same guy I always am. And the truth is, is like I, my confidence has not wavered. And I'm going to be honest with a lot of you guys out there, like I, like I have in any way in these last few episodes, and I do mean the whole thing, stop investing in these kind of people. The, much like advertisements, get that ad blocker on the inside of you, and just because you see them bend over and all that kind of stuff, say, yeah, I will get with that. Oh. And then you send a few messages and then you start saying, oh, man, we, you know, let, let's have that connection. Let's talk and stuff like that. And if they are not wanting to be a part of that or whatever, or if they're sitting there trying to talk and all that kind of stuff, and then they all of a sudden do a 180 or a 360, <laughs> if they start doing that kind of stuff, just be honest with yourself. You did what you did your job. Just pack up and leave at that point. The only thing is, the only time you really should say something is when they try to insult you like this cow tried to. Don't insult anybody because you're in no position to talk mess. You're not. And if you're going to go ahead and try to leech off of people who are insecure or somehow have money but they don't spend that money right, or you go ahead and try to throw a stereotype just because somebody will not invest in you, they're automatically broke, you're full of crap. And the thing is, I don't have to talk about how much I have. I don't have to talk about too much of anything. You know? But I will say what I need to say when it comes to common common sense. We, we sorely need it. And I will say what I need to say when it comes to romantic relationships. The only reason why romance is dying now because... We of this new generation are not taking responsibility for it, and we're not pursuing it, and we're not actively understanding that, you know, social communication isn't a problem. It's how we react to it. Who knows? You might fall in love with your whole total opposite. It might have the happiest relationship you've ever had. But once again, that's a whole different fight there because it's all about maintaining it. And you see... I'm almost out of time for all that. But anyway, that's episode 133 tonight. I know that there was so much going on today. There were a few great football games. Uh, I might look into those sometimes. I'm also doing something for you sports fans out there. That's not going to be for the next episode, but the next time the uh, football season rolls around, you might see some cool stuff. And speaking of which, uh, you know something? That Cyclone, hmm, yeah. Hey, hey, just stay tuned, all right? It's going to be on J360 Radio. Now, J360 TV, yes, because of the new 15 weeks that are coming, and I don't want to interrupt what the flow of J360 Radio is, J360 TV products are going to be bi-weekly. So you'll see things happen bi-weekly on the J360 um, TV uh, channel for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're going to see. 
Yeah, because I had all this stuff laid out, guys. I'm just sitting right here in the red room right now, like, trying to go through what I've written. And right now, I, I don't know, was I drinking last night? Um, <laughs> but other than that, though, I want you all to take care of yourselves. And just, you know, just really remember the most important things I said in this episode and stuff. And it's not like saying that all women are bad and all men are bad. It's saying that there's a lot of lies and a lot of manipulation out there. And the truth be told is this. You got to play the game anyway. That's the only way you're ever going to win out on this. And you just got to be smart about it. And the truth is, is uh, there's quite a lot of dumb idiots out there that would love to just take advantage of anything. And you see, not like I was taking advantage of, but the truth is, is when I found out that whole stuff about, you know, investing in somebody, that, that's that's sick. There's nothing wrong with giving certain people money, but you really should know them before you do any of that stuff. And see, <laughs> take it from J-Man. J-Man ain't giving nobody money. Unless you work for him. <laughs> but until then, this is the J-Man signing off. You all be chill. I'll catch you later. Peace. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com renew to learn more.